do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students let us solve the next question question number 2 of jwe advanced physics paper 2015 so let us begin with question number 2 Hello students let us solve question number 2 of 2015 jwe advanced physics paper 1 the question says a bullet is fired vertically upward with velocity v from the surface of a spherical planet this is a spherical planet and uh, a bullet is fired suppose that uh, this is the bullet which is fired from the surface and when it reaches its maximum height suppose that this is the maximum height of the bullet that it reaches so if this is called the maximum height so obviously the height is measured from the surface this is maximum height then obviously at this point its velocity will be zero its acceleration due to gravity at this point it says that the acceleration due to gravity at a height h maximum maximum that is uh, one fourth of its value at the surface of the planet suppose at the surface of the planet the value of g on the surface is uh, suppose g then it is uh, g divided by 4 if the escape velocity of the planet is v n given v escape is v n what is this v this is the v with which this is fired and finally it becomes zero then the value of n is this is integer type question and your answer should be from 0 to 9 including uh, the 0 and 9 as well so now we have to find for what is the value of uh, if uh, the acceleration due to gravity is uh, g by 4 then up up to what height it goes up to what height it goes and the uh, acceleration becomes 1/4 then we have to use the formula that is uh, when a body goes up then uh, the acceleration due to gravity can be obtained uh, using this relation that is uh, g h is z to r over r plus h the whole square where this h is the height corresponding to this g so this g is the h is the acceleration due to gravity corresponding to the height h so this g h is given as g by 4 because if this stands max maximum then this h is maximum then this is max then this is g by 4 this is g given r over r plus h max the whole square g cancels out taking the square root r over r plus h max equals to half so 2r cross multiply will get 2r is r plus h max so from here h max becomes r h maximum is equal to so that means the bullet goes to a height h max which is equal to the radius of this planet r say so this goes to a height equal to the radius of the planet okay then uh, as you got the value of h we'll find the 
velocity if it is fired with v then what is the orbital velocity or uh, the velocity with which it is fired and sk velocity we know that it is uh, under root uh, 2 under root 2 zn upon r so i will write that uh, if i equate the total energy in the first case and second case that is uh, from here starting point here the total energy and here at the final destination total energy i have to equate these two energies then what i'll get total energy at initial point and total energy at final point must be equal because we ignored the loss due to ignore energy loss due to atmosphere or uh, any air resistance so air resistance is neglected total energy at the beginning is the sum of kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy is given by half m mass of the bullet and uh, v square with which is fired and minus g m m upon r that is the potential energy where capital m stands for the mass of the planet from which it is fired and m stands for the mass of the bullet so therefore this will be at the highest point when this is the highest point the kinetic energy is zero because the bullet attains its maximum height plus the potential energy which is obviously negative minus z m m upon r is the distance of or the position of the object from the center of the earth so this becomes r plus h that is a, it is 2r so from here i will get what is uh, v square that obviously i'll cancel m here v square by 2 becomes gm upon r minus gm upon 2r so this comes out to be 1 minus half half so it is uh, gm upon 2r so from here i can cancel 2 as well and the velocity which is fired is under root gm upon r so it is fired with the velocity equal to the orbital velocity now we know that the sk velocity is uh, under root gm upon r so if i substitute this value which is a uh, root 2 times under root gm upon r which is root 2 times v is given <coughs> Is given that the sk velocity is vn this sk velocity is vn if I compare this with the vn then uh, it is uh, v is under root g by r so it is uh, root 2 times uh, this value if i take uh, under root n v because i think that there is an error over here i think so that it should be under root n if if it is under root n if it is the case then only this is the relation we have obtained and this is the relation given in the question then comparing this n should be equal to 2 so i think uh, there is a uh, uh, here it should be a uh, root of n because the answer should be in integer type so it should not be root of 2 so there should be a uh, root of n so here it should be root of n here it should be root of n okay so the answer to this question is uh, 2.
ओके थैंक यू